So we're going to take a look at the idea of using something called a composite hierarchy here in Anaplan. And to demonstrate this, I've just got a couple of different modules built in different ways that allow us to compare with and without the composite hierarchy and the kind of benefit you can derive from using one. So the model or the examples that I'm using are just really straightforward uh, employee costs by department. So I've got two modules essentially doing the same thing, department costs by employee and department personnel costs. If we look at my first example, so I'm just using the pivot function there to show quickly the dimensions that are in play. You've got employees by departments over time against your line items, so just examples of employee type costs, salary, benefits, etc. On a very simple level, if we go into the blueprint and we look at the size of our module, we can see it's a little over 11,000 cells. If we also now come back into the module, let's find our data here for this employee here. So looking at Michael's data, he works in sales. We can see his salary by month. And like I said before, pension and other benefits and all that rolls up to your total employee cost. The major problem with this module, the way it's been built originally, is this. He only works in sales, he doesn't work in marketing, he doesn't work in technical support, etc. You have a lot of sparsity, there's a lot of white space that's completely unnecessary within this module by building it separate employees against separate departments, against months, against your line items. So the alternative, which is what I've created here in this um, second module, is to use something called a composite hierarchy. So here you can see, actually let's just go back here to pivot first of all. It's one less dimension, you can see that straight away. The employees and departments, a separate list, have been replaced with one list, employees into departments. And if we go back into the module and take a look, you can see that at this level, the data is black. I can't enter anything in there, I'm trying. But if I expand, let's find Mikkel again. The cells are blue, and if I want to, I can enter some data into the module as I would expect. If we look at how that's been done, if we come back to our settings tab and we're looking at these three lists here. So employees and departments, as we saw in our first module. There's my employees and there are my departments. And if I return to my original employees list, it's just a list of names, it rolls up to total employees. And I've said that there's a top level item, total employees, and that's all that I've done. If we now come to the second list that I set up as the alternative, straight away you can see that it's different. On that top uh, tree view, it's actually departments, but those departments can be expanded. Now the only difference here is I actually started exactly the same way as I did with employees. I imported my employees into this list, but under configure, I didn't just give a top level item, I assigned a parent hierarchy of departments. And that's all. Very, very straightforward. But by doing that, the application now understands that the lists, um, sorry, the items I imported into this list, in other words, employees, roll up to this hierarchy here, i.e. departments. So that then allows me to assign a parent from that departments list into my uh, employees rolling up to departments. In terms of benefits derived, well, Let's just start on that really basic level again. You can see straight away 
selling just over two and a half thousand sold it's considerably smaller so you reduce module and ultimately model size and of course as a direct result of that you eliminate the sparsity because there is now no need to have Mittal against marketing and you can see he isn't there or against professional services or any of the other departments because these lists are linked to composite hierarchy so you eliminate sparsity and you reduce module and ultimately model size.